A dramatic recording, the teacher allegedly trying to hire a hitman to murder a colleague. What he didn't know was that the friend he was talking about it with was recording the entire conversation. ABC's John Shrippen is here with the latest. This is an incredible story. You know, it seems to get wilder by the day. Beyond a good morning. Because police say no money was ever exchanged between the undercover agent and the teacher allegedly trying to hire the hitman, this audio recording becomes a major piece of evidence. It's filled with racial slurs and profanity and details how to kill a high school teacher. What do you want done with Bob Meredith? Stunning revelations inside the Florida courtroom Saturday when the prosecution played a phone conversation allegedly between high school teacher James Pepe and his friend. The man police say alerted authorities about the bizarre murder for hire scheme. We gotta kill this That's not exactly what you would expect to hear from a history teacher allegedly talking about getting rid of a fellow teacher and former colleague Bob Meredith. And originally, I remember, you know, you and I talked about it and you wanted to pay me to kill him and then I was uncomfortable with that because I got kids. Then you wanted me to find some that didn't work. I found a white supremacist that didn't work. For 11 minutes, the two talked about ways to carry out the plan. At one point, Pepe allegedly suggests finding a former student of his. If you will hook us up with every murderer we need, criminal we need, Police say Pepe was upset because he thought the man he used to work with was spreading rumors about him, saying he was a child molester. But Meredith claims that's not true, saying the two barely knew each other, talking to our affiliate WFTS through his door earlier this week. Never any scuffles or even words exchanged? Never. Police were tipped off two weeks ago. That's when the FBI got involved using an undercover agent posing as the hitman. Most people will go to the door. He would do it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, here's the deal. You should just talk to the guy. Why don't you just talk to him? I, I don't know. How do, you, how do you want Meredith killed? Anyone he wants. I don't give a And the prosecution claims Pepe was even willing to have the hitman knock off Meredith at a school event. Now, after all of hearing all of this, the judge decided not to grant Pepe bail and keep him behind bars. If convicted of the charge of solicitation to commit first-degree murder, he faces up to 30 years in prison, Dan and Now, we tracked down the court-appointed lawyer from Pepe. He did not wish to comment about this. I'm not a lawyer. It's going to be hard to fight those uh, tapes, though, in court. John, thank you. Sure.